Please join me in our opening prayer. Dear Lord, in this holy season of prayer and song and laughter, we praise you for the great wonders you have sent us, for shining star and angel song, for infants cry in lowly manger. We praise you for the word made flesh into a little child. We behold his glory and are bathed in its radiance. Be with us as we sing the ironies of Christmas, the incomprehensible comprehended, the poetry made hard fact, the helpless babe who cracks the world asunder. We kneel before you, shepherds, innkeepers, wise men. Help us to rise bigger than we are. Amen. Let's sing this Christmas hymn together.
sinners reconciled. Joyful all ye nations rise, join the triumph of the skies. With the angelic hosts proclaim, Christ is born in Bethlehem. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Christ by Our first lesson is Isaiah 9, 2 to 6a. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you for the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor. You have broken as on the day of Midian. For a child has been born for us, a child given to us. A reading from Julia Esquivel, Those Who Saw the Star. The Word became light. The Word became history. The Word became conflict. The Word became indomitable spirit and sowed its seeds. And those of goodwill heard the angels sing. Tired knees were strengthened, trembling hands were stilled, and the people who wandered in darkness saw the light. Then the word became flesh in a nation pregnant with freedom. The spirit strengthened the arms which forged hope. The verb became flesh in the people who perceived a new day. The word became the seed of justice, and we conceived peace. The word made justice to reign and peace came forth from the furrows in the land. Grace and truth celebrated together in the laughter of the children rescued by life. And on the horizon, the word made light invited us to relive a thousand dawns toward the kingdom that comes.
Our second lesson is from Luke 1, 26 through 31. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a young woman engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The woman's name was Mary. And Gabriel came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. Our God is with you. But she was much perplexed by these words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a child whom you will name Jesus. Now we have a reading by Walter Burgart, People of Ceaseless Hope. We must be people of ceaseless hope. Every human act, every Christian act, is an act of hope. But that means that we must be people of the present. We must live this moment, really live it, not just endure it. Because this very moment, for all its imperfection and frustration, and because of its imperfection and frustration, it is pregnant with all sorts of possibilities, is pregnant with the future, is pregnant with love, is pregnant with Christ.
The third lesson is Matthew 1, 18 to 21. Now the birth of Jesus, the Messiah, took place in this way. When Jesus' mother, Mary, had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband, Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of God appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a child whom you are to name Jesus, for your child will save God's people. A reading by Madame La Engel, First Coming. God did not wait till the world was ready, till the nations were at peace. God came when the heavens were unsteady and prisoners cried out for release. God did not wait for the perfect time. God came when the need was deep and great. God dined with sinners in all their grime, turned water into wine. God did not wait. Till hearts were pure in joy, God came to a tarnished world of sin and doubt. To a world like ours of anguish, shame, God came, and God's light would not go out. God came to a world which did not mesh, to heal its tangles, shield its scorn. In the mystery of a word made flesh, the maker of the stars was born. We cannot wait till the world is sane to raise our songs with joyful voice. For to share our grief, to touch our pain, God came with love. Rejoice, rejoice. Our fourth lesson is from Luke 2. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus 
that all the world should be registered. All went from their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and was expecting a child. When they were there, the time came for her to deliver the child. And she gave birth to her firstborn child, wrapped the child in bands of cloth, and laid the child in a manger, because there was no place for them at the inn. Our reading is by Dom Helder Camera in the middle of the night. Then you chose to come, God's resplendent firstborn sent to make us one. The voices of doom protest, all these words about justice, love, and peace, all these naive words will buckle beneath the weight of a reality which is brutal and bitter, even more bitter. It is true, Lord, it's midnight upon the earth, moonless night and starved of stars. But can we forget that you, Son of God, chose to be born precisely at midnight? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
The fifth lesson is from Luke 2, 8 to 14. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of God stood before them, and the glory of God shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom God favors. An Aztec story of the nativity. The angels came down from the sky like birds. Their voices were bells. They sounded like flutes. Praise God in heaven. Alleluia. They came flying out of the sky singing, Peace on earth. Alleluia. Sweet smelling song. Flowers were scattering everywhere, falling to earth in a golden rain. Let's scatter those golden flowers. Alleluia. The flowers are heavy like dew. The and the dew is filled with light, shining like jewels in Bethlehem. Alleluia. Heart flowers, plum-like bell flowers, red cup flowers. They're beaming with dawn light. They're shining like gold. Alleluia. Emeralds, pearls, and red crystals are glowing. They're glistening. It's dawn. Alleluia. Jewels are spilling in Bethlehem, falling to earth. Alleluia.
Our fifth reading is from Matthew 2, 1 through 2. After Jesus was born in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw this one star in the east and have come to worship this child. Our reading is by Peter Christologus in Choosing to be Born. In choosing to be born for us, God chose to be known by us. God therefore reveals God's own self in this way, in order that this great sacrament of love may not be an occasion for us of great misunderstanding. Today the Magi find, crying in a manger, the one they have followed, shining in the sky. Today the Magi clearly see, in swaddling clothes, the one they have long awaited, laying hidden among the stars. Today the Magi gaze in deep wonder at what they see, heaven on earth, earth in heaven, humanity in God, God in humanity, one whom the whole universe cannot contain, now enclosed in a tiny body. Our seventh lesson is Che Jesus by Anonymous from Argentina. They told me that you came back to be born every Christmas. Man, you're crazy. With this stubborn gesture of coming back every Christmas, you are trying to tell us something. That the revolution that all proclaim begins, first of all, in each one's heart. That it doesn't mean only changing structures, but changing selfishness for love that we have to stop being wolves and return to being brothers and sisters, that we begin to work seriously for the individual conversion and social change, that we'll give to all the possibility of having bread, education, freedom, and dignity, that you have a message that's called the gospel and a church, that's us, a church that wants to be servant of all, 
A church that knows that because God became human one Christmas, there is no other way to love God but to love all people. If that's the way it is, Jesus, come to my house this Christmas. Come to my country. Come to the world of humanity. And first of all, come to my heart. Let's sing. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round yon virgin mother and child, holy infant so Please join me in a Christmas benediction. At Christmas, may God open your heart to his love, your mind to his wonders, your ears to his voice, and your life to his presence. May you experience his peace for your troubles, his forgiveness for your guilt, his presence in your loneliness, his light for your path, his guidance for your journey, and his joy for your life. Amen. Have a great week, friends, and thank you for joining us.